Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest Origin OS port um, for Poco M3 or Redmi 90 Juice Unified devices. So let's start the review by um, by the uh, notification and quick settings panel. As you can see, the notification panel re looks like or the quick settings panel looks like looks something like MIUI 12. There is only some change with the settings. It's um, focused on to the bottom uh, bottom side. So basically, you can you will get something similar to um, similar to iOS, even though it's not similar. But yeah, something is uh, something looks like iOS. Then comes the uh, the applications. Well, you will get all the standard applications with the port, whatever that is available with the Origin OS and um, they are cool applications you can even take a look at the uh, file manager it looks really fantastic and the calendar you'll get some chinese language with the calendar and as you can see in the um, app drawer you will get the chrome gmail google and google assistant application so it's not bloated with quite a lot of g apps and under the tools category you will get the recorder compass and calculator let's see if the compass is working i'm not sure it is going to work or not so it is asking me to calibrate okay yeah so once we have um calibrated it so it starts functioning so it's is it working let's have a look no it is not working it's some kind of dud i believe no it's working yeah it's working okay fine so that's that's really great okay and yeah that's really fantastic and you will get the calculator application okay let's agree to that which also looks fantastic then uh, coming down here you will get all the weather application origin player imusic uh, mood cube i'm not sure what this mood cube is wow it's in chinese i don't know <laughs> i do not know what that is okay right so um the camera works really fine i just want to show you the camera but once i enable the camera the screen recording will stop so let's try not to do that okay let's go to the settings page as you can see in the settings page it looks something like this wow um it looks something similar to miui isn't it um it looks okay okay to me and um, yeah it, it looks great okay right so you will get all the standard settings like uh, notification and the status status bar customization even though they are not offering quite a lot of customization for these um these things like notification and status bar customization you can expect something similar to mi ui then comes the dynamic effect i'm not sure i'm not exactly sure what this dynamic effect is going to do or even if it is going to work on our device i'm not sure um, then comes the sound and vibration. You get all the standard customization for the um, sound and vibration. The same thing that you are getting AOSP and MIUI is also here. Um, then comes the Jovi. Let's have a look what Jovi is. Okay, you get driving mode, right? Um, Jovi Vision. I'm not sure what that is. Let's agree to that. Uh, honestly speaking, I'm not. Uh, it, maybe this is some kind of artificial intelligence stuff. Maybe that is something related to the browsing experience and stuff like that. I'm not sure about it. Then comes the option to customize the system navigation. You can select uh, um, three types of navigation classic navigation keys and stuff like that. Then comes the fingerprint face unlock so basically if you want to configure the fingerprint and face unlock definitely you can do that too all right uh, then origin privacy system it's not working i believe then ultra game mode shortcut and accessibility i believe this is the same thing that we get in the in the all the asp roms and stuff like that then comes the system management control center recent apps so how the control center should be displayed you can customize that okay let's have a look oh fine so basically you can change the control center styling from the uh, from the uh, from the other style to this style this really looks good right okay and then uh, recent apps you can adjust how the uh, recent apps is being displayed a blur I d i'm not sure what that is then download management then multi turbo it is something similar to 
I guess there was a AI preloaded launching settings in MIUI. I guess it is something similar to that. So yeah, these all are the options that are available over here in the system management uh, thing. Then comes the security. Um, then the privacy and uh, screen time. Screen time basically it's something similar to um, we get some kind of I'm not sure uh, there was a application with the um, with the even with the AOSP ROMs to monitor your screen time so it is something similar to that um, RAM and storage space so basically this is like this is giving you an idea of how much storage and how much space is being occupied on your phone then comes the battery so yeah as you can see um, percentage is being displayed over here and you can even switch the battery mode right now it's on balanced mode you can move it to performance or save battery so this is how the graph is being displayed uh, i had been i had flashed the rom um, yesterday so last night and it's doing pretty much good i believe yeah it's 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 actually nice you can see from the um, from the graph itself the recent huge dip in the battery charge level so it's doing great then apps and pro, uh, permissions so these all are the all are the options that are available to you in the settings page overall what i can tell you about the rom is the the port is extremely smooth i had changed the kernel for um, uh, for for poco m3 um, my device is poco m3 so um i had changed the kernel so let me see where i can find the system information to show it to you or do we have such a page there should be a page so let me see where that is system management okay about phone right 